Hey guys, welcome to another PR unboxing. To begin with, today we have three packages and these are the three here. And we're just going to start off with this one which is the easiest to rip open. Sometimes I have no idea what the package is but this one is from Shopee and it's from Laneige. I'm pretty sure it's just one item so I don't know why is it so nicely packaged. I think it's uh, some cream that they are having for a review campaign. Yes, it was very very well packaged and it's a lot bigger than I expected and there's some other samples inside here. But let's look at this one first. It's an eye cream for face. So they said that it's only 30 ml. I don't know why the box is so long. But you can use it for like as an eye cream or you can use it on your face as a face cream. Okay, let's take a look. I have no idea why it's so long. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure that this is a new launch product and this is called the Perfect Renew Youth Retinol. I've never tried retinol, I think, or even if I did, it's like not inside the name of the product. So it's probably just a small ingredient inside the general cream. So it says for wrinkle resilience and texture. And now they have directions for youth, which is so complex. Let's just try it together then. How do I even get this out? Yes, okay, I did it right. I managed to squeeze it. Let me just tell you, there was a hook, which is... Why does it close like that? Okay, I guess that's the way it closes. It doesn't close all the way. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, so you pull out this hook. It's supposed to turn it this way and it's supposed to break the seal and you have no idea when it broke the seal. And then you turn it as per normal to open it. But they say do not pull out the cap. So I don't know. They're just trying to keep it fresh. It's just so complex. Okay, let's blend this in. Uh, okay, it's very blendable. Feels smooth and very lightweight for sure. You can see that it's all soaked in and it just has a very general kind of cream smell. Let's see, this is the Laneige Perfect Renew Youth Retinol Eye Cream for Face. It's an eye cream that smoothens the appearance of eye and face wrinkles, helps to improve look of skin elasticity. There's an ultra pure retinol. I think I'm more wowed by the <laughs> packaging itself. But let's look at what is this too. There's the Water Bank Hydro Essence, which I think is super famous. And the Water Bank Moisture Essence. I've tried something from them, but I don't know which one it is that I've tried. So this is the package from Laneige. Next up, I've opened this up because my address is on the top. And I have no idea what this is. And this is from Hong Kong. It's super well packed. Uh, it says like cream, but this does not look like one product. This looks like makeup. Oh, I know what this is. This is from Stalvana and they sent over a full face of makeup products so I can do like not including the foundation and concealer but you know the full face after that. So let's just take a look. Everything is so cute. Let's look at this one first. This is, what brand is this? It's so adorable. It's Etude House. I've never tried any of their blushes and this one is the Etude Lovely Cookie Blusher. They sent over the shade Peach Vanilla Cream. <gasps> so adorable. I've never tried it but I do think that I've seen this kind of things before and I just removed the seal. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, I remember seeing that it has like a very cute puff on it. This is how the puff looks like and it's very soft. Oh, and it comes with like a piece of plastic to separate the blush from the puff. So let's swatch it. It just looks like a very neutral color which will go along with a lot of makeup look. This is the kind of blush color that I like so I'm glad that they sent it over and I didn't have to like choose it and it didn't come with like some weird pink or purple color. You can see it's just a very neutral nudie pink shade and it just blends into the skin. Yeah, I can barely see it. I think maybe you can go in with a lot more product. It's not very pigmented. And now I'm going to destroy the puff by just putting on top. And it's just a very powdery smooth kind of finish. Let's see what is this that's right on top here. And this one is the Fork Eyebrow Tint. This is from the brand Ri Rei. I've never heard of this brand. Actually, it sounds like a China brand, but it is actually Korean and it's made in Korea. This one is in the shade Grey Black, which just sounds like it's going to work very well for me. Oh, it's very thick for an eyebrow thing. I did not expect it to be so thick. This is the Grey Black shade. Let's pull it out and see. Oh, okay, that's why the packaging looks so thick. Oh wow, it looks very realistic. So you can just draw your eyebrows hair like that. Yeah, and I really like the shade too. It's really very grey. Next up, we have another pencil looking thing over here. This one is the oh eyeliner. Is this from the brand McQueen? This is from the brand McQueen. I've heard of it, but I've never tried anything from them. And they sent over shade 02, which is 
brown something ah deep brown because i know that i saw on their website they have something called brown black too so deep brown is pretty good it's a waterproof eyeliner pen and it's supposed to be 0.1 mm i'm very excited to see the shade because recently i tried a brown eyeliner pen wow can't get it out and i fell in love with a brown eyeliner I've always only used like black color eyeliners so let's swatch this oh wow it really looks very thin okay let's give it a swatch wow it's such a thin brush it's a little bit soft and flexible though so I definitely have to try it out and see but the shade looks like it will work very well and this one really looks a little bit like a calligraphy kind of pen Next up, let's look at this one because this is from a brand Hamish and I really enjoy this brand so I've been really excited to try out makeup from them. This one is the Hamish Velvet Powder Packed. It looks small so it's like a powder that you put after you, you know, finish your base makeup. It's a very small compact so it looks like it's going to be very good to travel with and also very sleek. Oh, it comes with a mirror and it also comes with the puff. It has this plastic to separate it. Now let's give this powder a swatch. This actually looks a little bit pearlescent, like a very sheer kind of powder. Oh, it does cover it. It's very, very smooth. It does seem like this powder is more like to give it a very light coverage. So you don't look too dry, but at the same time, maybe it makes your skin look a bit dewy because it does look a little bit not flat. It just looks like such an expensive compact and it closes so nicely. So I'm very excited to try that out. This one is something that looks so cute. I wonder what this is. It's a cotton tint and it's from the brand McQueen again. And it's so adorable. It's in the shade 04 MLBB Coral. But I don't know, hopefully it has like something to pull out. Yes, it does. Literally, I thought it was like a pouring ink. So it feels super heavy. Maybe there's a lot of product inside. Oh, it's such a pretty color it's a lot brighter than i expected but it's still a shade that i will use oh if you think about it it's actually a very tiny package so it's gonna be good for traveling well you know if we can travel again <laughs> it's not gonna take out a lot of space inside my makeup collection that's for sure and this one is the air cotton tint uh, i see the coral but it's not very mlbb <laughs> next up this one from far really looks like mac packaging but it's from mac queen again so this one is the Okay, let's get it open so we can see what it is. I'm thinking it's like an eyeshadow quad because, uh, not a quad, because it has the word three behind. So there's no English here, but let's just open it up to see. Oh no, it's not. This is the contour one. It's like the Too Cool for School Art Class by Rodin, which I used up completely. So I'm really happy to get this one because I want to try more products like that one, but I don't want to buy the exact same product from the same brand. So there's three different shades. And what I did is uh, I would just mix which finger that I use, I would just mix this tree for my contour for my face. But when I'm going in for my nose, I will always use the middle shade. And if I want to use this, which, you know, you can just use it for like the eyes. So I'm actually very glad that this one is so little, but you get way more product of the other colors. I'm pretty sure that the amount that you get for, what well, it's very, very sheer, the color, which is actually very good because it's just easy to blend, especially if you're like a newbie at contouring. And for me, I never really look at the mirror. I just take like a certain amount of product each time and I just budge it onto my face. So I really like that it's a sheer color. I'm pretty, oh, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure that the Too Cool for School one, they give you the same amount per strip. So I like that this one, they give you more of the colors that I actually would use more. Next up, we have this thing over here which I have no idea what it is. Oh, I'm guessing this one is the eyeshadow, but it is so tiny. I did not expect that. This one seems like it's from the brand where, you know, they produce those wine bottles, lip product. And this one is the brand called La Beauté. I'm assuming it's how they pronounce it. And it's the Moment Momentic At Time Shadow. 7 o'clock, okay. <laughs> I find it so funny and so cute that they name it like, you know, time shadow and they really just name it like 7 o'clock. Oh, it's so adorable. It's very um, light packaging and that's how it looks like. It's very, very pretty. I really like it. Let's give it a swatch. Although it's small, it's going to be really good for travel. Okay, so this is the lighter shade. 
oh that's a nice color and then you have like something more neutral and then a darker shade so you can definitely create an eyelid look with this and you can also use this for the inner corners and this one for the outer corners you know for like a shadow this one looks more like a matte which is this one over here which is good so these two looks more like shimmer and this one has more of a matte finish so although i say it's small i really like the size and the colors that are given here so let's see we got a bunch of products and these are all the products from <laughs> this hand looks useless these are all the products from stavana our last package is from The Body Shop and they sent over some Christmas package last time. This one is a new line, it's Outer West. No, it's not. It's pronounced Edelweiss, which is a kind of herb or flower. And it's a very nice packaging. So you just open it up. I really like that they send it in a box so that I can always reuse the box. And it says that it is for hydrate and glow. So I can read out on this. I also heard that they have this bouncy jelly mist, which got me very excited because I once tried a very good jelly mist and it just hydrated very very well yet wasn't too heavy as a mist so this is the one and this one is drops of youth bouncy jelly mist environmental protection it has this outer west stem cells so this is how it looks like it says that it is for pollution and blue light protection so now let's look at this one over here i'm not sure what this is this one is new on the go 100 ml bottle and this is the youth liquid peel oh it's also, so it's like exfoliating <laughs> oh i got so excited there so this is the exfoliant liquid pollution clearing so this is the step one, which is the liquid peel to peel away impurities. Wow, this is $32. It is vegan and 93% ingredients of natural origin. So it's like a gel to peel formula. And then you're supposed to use their drops of youth concentrate, which they did not send over. But step three is to protect your skin with this one. And this one is $29. I'm excited to start trying this out. And this is the package today from The Body Shop. For today's unboxing, we have one PR and one which is something that I actually bought from Shopee myself. But let's just open it up together and see. So I need to pull this out. I got this for the uh, Flash Dale and the picture just looked really good even though it's from China and nobody else set a notification for it but I really wanted to try it. It's during Chinese New Year so they still have the 88 cents sale and then you know I just got some coins off. I thought it was worth a try since I was paying like 60 cents for it. This one is the Hanru Double Eyelid Styling Cream. Huh, looks a bit Korean but it's definitely from China and it says that it's natural setting, apply during makeup, convenient and quick. The packaging is pretty good though and I'm really surprised that it came inside a box, like the brown box here and another box here. So I was excited to try this because, oh it comes with this too, that's good, because it is like eyelid tape but instead of a sticker, you just brush it on like so obviously you have to uh, pump it down i'm assuming let's look at the mechanism it's actually a nice packaging oh i think you twist this and then product will come out and then you just use the brush and brush it on use this to stick it in and like push out your eyelid and then it will just stick and it's just such a easier way compared to a sticker that just like you know always gets stuck on my fingers so i wanted to try this not to go out not to apply during makeup like the box says but to train my eyelids at home now let's move on to the real deal which is this beautiful package very ipsy but it's a rose gold which is even nicer it already is a poly miller bubble bag with sticky top here but it's still put in tape because it's a very heavy bag Ooh, it's a big bag of stuff so let's just pour everything out and see forever young singapore i don't know why there's so many items i did not expect there to be so many items uh, but i was really happy because it's like a local brand local website we must support local so i thought that i was just getting a few things let's just look at this one which is a different brand from the rest so they said that they were sent over this and some skincare from their website there's also like organic pastas and organic food which i wasn't interested in but skincare okay i would like to try this one looks interesting it's the queen royal repair and renew balm 100 percent natural certified organic ingredients oh this is made in australia and this is the balm let's pop it out it's 50 grams oh it's a very nice packaging like a pot and it's going to be easy to apply because i think that you can use it on different parts of your face let's just see it says that calm rashes itchy eczema 
irritated skin, nourish and hydrate chapped or cracked skins, renew skin cells and reduce redness. The first ingredient is royal jelly. Okay, maybe because it is natural ingredients, it expires end of this year, which is just uh, in like 10 or so months. They do not say it on the box, so I'll have to go online to read up on it more. So it's just a tin like this. And then I'm pretty sure that this kind of balms are like multi-use balms. You can use it on like your lips, elbows and your knees, feet or body, all those kind of different places. It smells like a sweet balm, not too honey, not too sweet, which is what I like because I was worried that it would smell very sickening because it's honey product. Now let's look at the skincare. I think I'm most excited for... Oh, this came for that. So you don't have to dip it in. You can just use this to scoop out the amount you want. As I was saying, I was most excited for the mask. The, those like one-time sheet masks because I think that was the only thing that I was supposed to get. I didn't expect to get all this other. But let's just look at this one first. The Intensive Whitening Treatment Mask. It feels like a very full box. So it's supposed to whiten, firm and hydrate. Oh, I did not expect to have firm too. I thought it was just like whitening, which is awesome because I really like firming kind of mask. It's uh, supposed to regenerate your new skin cells and it has collagen for firmer youthful skin and flawless crystal clear complexion. So this was from Australia and this brand is made in Taiwan. And there's five pieces of mask inside here. Let's see what else is this one. This is the Revitalizing Treatment Essence White Affair. Apply onto clean skin with cotton pad. It's very heavy, it's 100 ml and it also has rose water and aloe vera which just sounds very re refreshing. Okay, let's see. This one over here is the Day Protection Cream SPF 30. I definitely will be using this soon. Because it's a cream, they ask you to apply just a small amount onto your face and neck. So it's probably going to last a while. It's 30 grams. So if there's a day cream, I'm assuming that there should be a night cream too. This one is the Night Repair Emulsion White Affair. We're in 2021, so this expires in like less than, in like 3 months. <laughs> they expire really fast and it's supposed to repair, hydrate and renew. And this one over here also expires in 2021. <laughs> oh, that's because that it was produced in 2018. So everything that they sent over is all their old stock that they just wanted to clear because all of it is from 2018 and all of it expires within a couple months. This one is the exfoliant though, so it's supposed to refine, renew and repair. Oh, but it has oil on it, so it's probably quite gentle because it says that it uses fine white wax bits, which sounds interesting. And you apply it over your face and then you leave it on for about 5 minutes before you gently massage it for about 2-3 to three minutes. You can use it for 2-3 to three times a week. And then this one over here is the oh facial cleanser, purifying facial cleanser, 100 grams. Cleanse, renew and repair because it is a mild and pH balanced formula. I probably won't be able to use up all of this before it expires. So some of the products I'll try out. I'm glad that I didn't open them yet because some of it I'll do a giveaway for you guys. We have a stack of boxes over here. There are four different brands and we're going to unbox them one by one together. Let's look at the first box and this one is the heaviest. I'm showing you this side because my address is on the other side. So I'm going to cut it up. Let's open this up and see why is it so heavy. It already has the description on the top. So I know that they are hair products while they are super well wrapped. I think because they are hair products, so they want to prevent any leakage. Wow, okay, I'm going to spend a long time trying to pry it free. This is from the brand Owe and I never knew what it meant. It meant organic way of life and it is free of SLS, parabens, artificial colorant, synthetic fragrances. Ooh, that's good because some people are um, allergic to fragrances. There's also like essential oils inside and it, this is, oh, there's different lines and I told them that I would like to try the silk and glow line because that's for like frizzy hair and also I wanted it to look healthy <laughs> thus the glow. So it's supposed to repair and restore unruly damaged hair. There are three products inside here. Right off the bat, they are super super well wrapped, which is good because they never break and you would think that they never leak. So these two are safe, but this one was an oily mess and I just cleaned it up. Uh, it was, it leaked from here and it was just, you know, you lost some product and it was just very oily everywhere. <laughs> Let's look at this one here first. 
This product comes with a palm, I like the packaging a lot and I even just saw that it says it's a 100% glass bottle that's infinitely recyclable which is really good because I like to support brands that make a conscious effort for the environment and this is also 100% made in Italy. It's an ultra hydrating shampoo that replenishes moisture in dry brittle hair while adding supple softness just you know describing everything that I would want. It's also very very heavy now this one is a little bit um not what i expected because this is definitely gonna go way before this one even finishes this is the silk and glow hair mask i mean this is a hundred percent aluminium tube so it's again infinitely recyclable which is good but it's just going to take out a lot of time inside the shower you know it's hard to squeeze and I don't like this kind of squeezy tubes. This one is the Silk and Glow Hair Mask, which infuses your hair with health and shine. Biodynamic oat and all natural emollients restructure and seal unruly hair strands. Sounds amazing. And it says you are supposed to use it for 3 to 5 minutes on your hair, but it doesn't say how often you can use it. Since it has the word mask, I'm going to assume you don't use it every day, which is why it's only 150 ml. It is a nice packaging, it's just not very um, useful for day-to-day -day life. Now let's look at this one, I really wiped this down already. <laughs> So it's still a little bit oily, the Silk and Glow Serum. So now from filling it, I already know that it's going to be a little bit of a heavier formula because of the way it left my fingers filling. And this one is a pump, which is good. It smooths the cuticle and eliminates freeze, which is exactly what I need with Fair Trade Brazil Nut Oil. Oh, that's good because I've used like argan oil and my hair just really likes it a lot. This serum is applied to damp hair from lengths to ends. This is 50 ml and let's look at the shampoo the shampoo is 240 ml i'm very excited to start incorporating this into my shower routine so these are the away products